Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I have a confession to make. I'm a baby vegan. Now if you watched my last Q&A video, you would know that I actually just became vegan this past July. So it's been around seven and a half to eight months um, that I've been completely committed to the vegan lifestyle. Like when you look at all of the other vegan accounts out there that are more popular or YouTube channels, I feel like the people have been vegan for a really long amount of time. And I don't know, I guess I really haven't talked about it before because when I compared myself to these other accounts, they all seem so knowledgeable and I just sort of felt incompetent and almost embarrassed that I hadn't gone vegan sooner and that like maybe I shouldn't be making videos because I haven't been vegan for long enough or something. But then I realized that that's totally stupid. Like I feel like actually there's kind of a lack of people who have just transitioned to veganism and are making videos about it. So I've mentioned it before but veganism isn't just a diet where you don't eat animal products, it's also a lifestyle. So you're for the ethical treatment of all animals which means you're, you're against the use of animal products in your clothing, in your beauty products, in your hair care, and you're also against animal testing for those products as well. So vegans definitely aren't going to buy any new products that are against animal testing. And you are 100% still a vegan if you choose to use these products. Because to be frank, after you buy something, it's not like the animal's going to come back to life. So if you paid like $300 for a really nice purse and then you go vegan and then you're like, oh wait, this purse is leather. Like you're not going to bring the animal back to life by throwing the purse into the garbage can. So let's just make a few things clear here. I am completely vegan. I do not eat any animal products. I am 100% against animal cruelty and I will never purchase another product that involves animal testing, animal cruelty, or animal bits and pieces in any way, shape, or form. That is a complete definitive. So I will admit that I do have some products that are technically not vegan. Like I have some leather shoes and I have a leather purse and some of the body care items that I have been using are tested on animals. I went through all of my body products and anything that contains animal secretions or animal products in it, I threw out or gave to a friend because personally I think that's disgusting. I don't wanna put any animals on me. I like to keep them in their living beings, you know? But yeah, like I said, I still have some like makeup items and lotion that I use where the companies are not cruelty free. And personally, I think when you first go vegan, like you're obviously still going to be using these products and you might as well save your money. So I really don't think that there's an issue in using these products up just as long as you don't buy them again. But also if you can afford to buy new products that are cruelty free, I also think that's a great option. So that was the mindset I had and you know, I was using my products up and when I needed to buy new products such as shampoo or body wash, I made sure that it was a vegan and cruelty free brand. So I am slowly replacing all of the products that I use with vegan options and I'm also looking for more natural options as well just because I personally am into that sort of lifestyle. But like for example, I don't really wear makeup that often and unfortunately a lot of the makeup products that I have are from companies that test on animals. And you know, I was just sitting there and I was like, I don't think I'm okay with this. Like I said, I think it's totally fine if you want to use your product. But also at the same time, I'm kind of conflicted because I feel like when you wear an item that stands out, such as, you know, like a colorful lipstick or you're wearing those shoes or you're wearing a purse, like, what does that message say to other people? Like if your friends know you're vegan and they're like, but she's wearing a leather purse, like, is she actually vegan? And I know realistically, like, who cares what other people think and that other people are judging you. But I also feel like more people are watching me because I do have a larger presence on social media than a lot of other people transitioning to veganism. And I want to be knowledgeable and be able to recommend cruelty-free and vegan brands to people who are interested in things. So I'm sort of at this dilemma, like, do I save my money and use the products that I still have or... Do I just get rid of everything and start with a clean steak, completely vegan, 100% cruelty free? And honestly, I think I'm falling somewhere sort of in the middle of that because I can't afford to completely replace some of my wardrobe staples and some of the makeup that I have. But at the same time, I'm sort of like, enough is enough. Like, I don't want any more animal products. I don't want to support these industries. So I decided that I am going to be giving away or donating all of the leather and wool products that I have and I'm going to be replacing all of the beauty and hygiene products that I use that have been tested on animals. 
But yeah, I think it's a very interesting topic and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Personally, where would you draw the line between you're setting an example for other people, but at the same time, technically the stuff you get is still vegan? So definitely comment below and I'd love to have a discussion with you all. I think it would be very enlightening and interesting. But I think I sort of want to document this because I feel like a lot of vegan YouTubers, like I said, have been vegan for a really long time and they were never really recording themselves when they were sort of going through this transition. So if that would be something you'd be interested in seeing more videos of, definitely let me know as well. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to crank out a bunch of videos on it right away because like I said, I'm still in the process myself. But I was thinking I could still offer some tips for you guys and recommend brands, you know, as I transition. Like for example, all of my skincare products are vegan now, so I would feel comfortable doing a video about that. But I'm still working on replacing some of the makeup products, so that would obviously come further in the future. I also think it would be good to make some videos about why certain products aren't cruelty free, because I feel like a lot of people, when they think about veganism, they only really think about food, but they don't think about the things outside of food. <sighs> feels so much better to get that off my chest though. I didn't make a script for this video, I'm just sort of talking to the camera, so Hopefully I said everything I wanted to say. If not, I guess I'll just include it in the description of this video. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!